Okay, so I'm going to presume you've drawn your character now. Um, so what we need to do first of all is turn the character into a movie clip. So if you select the whole character, black selection arrow, drag selection round, right click, convert to symbol, movie, make sure the type is movie clip, name it. Okay, so we've got our movie clip stored in the library there. Next thing, double click on the movie clip to go inside. And again, we've got a new timeline now. It's got its own separate timeline inside the movie clip. And um, first thing we need to do with the lasso tool here is select the different parts that we want to move. So we're going to select the arms and the legs first of all. Okay, as you select each one, right click on it, convert to symbol, make sure type is movie clip, and name them again. So right arm. Again, it probably helps to zoom in, so if you press the Z, Z key, it's a shortcut to the zoom tool. If you press the L key, that is a shortcut to the lasso tool. Okay, so that to each one. So we're just repeating the process here, convert to symbol, left arm. Okay, now if you want to move the um, stage around, you just hold down and, and just make sure you click on an empty area of the stage then hold down the space bar and you'll see the hand appears and then you can move the stage okay sorry not Okay, so once we've done that, the, the, finally we want to actually turn the body of the dog into a movie clip as well. Uh, the easiest way to do that is to select the whole thing again, and then if you control click on the arms and legs, sorry, not, shift click should I say on the arms and legs. Okay, and then we're just left with the body selected, right click on that and turn that into a movie clip. Okay, so we've got our separate movie clips now. Now what we can do is if we select all the movie clips and right click and click on distribute to layers, it will then um, well, distribute those to layers. So we've got an empty layer one which we don't need there. I'm just going to delete that. So you'll see that all those movie clips, uh, it's created layers for them. Yeah, that's a nice neat little trick. If we go back to... Um, scene one you see we've just got a whole movie clip back on there um, so you can go back to scene one here so use the shortcuts here to go back inside the movie clip you just double click on the movie clip so we'll go back inside the movie clip now what we're going to do is create a simple uh, two keyframe animation um, now what we're going to do is I'm going to set this up so it's we want each keyframe to last five frames so I'm going to create now to create a, a row of keyframes here, you just click on the top layer and then shift click on click on the bottom layer, right click and insert keyframe. And you'll see there, now we have a keyframe that lasts for five frames. Um, and we've got a second keyframe here. We want to, that to last for five frames as well. To do that, all we need to do is if we again click at the top here, shift click at the bottom, right click and insert frame. Okay, and then we've got two keyframes that last for five frames each. Uh, now we're ready to begin our animation. Now, um, what's um, what we'll do first of all? We're going to we're going to animate the first keyframe. So again, we're going to create a very simple walk. If you use now, if you click on a key, movie clip and select the transform tool, which is this one here, yeah. Now you'll see you see this dot in the middle here. If we move this, this can act like a joint. Okay, so we move it to where the leg joins the body, um, and then we can move start to begin our movement okay now if you want to move things very finely you can actually use the arrow keys on the keyboard like I'm doing there to move them kind of incrementally very very finely um, so I'm going to move the left leg and the I'm going to do the same with the left sorry the right leg and the left arm so again not forgetting to move this circle to the join there and that acts like a joint and then moving that till it looks 
okay so we've got our first piece of movement there now if we go to the second keyframe now what's good here we can use onion skin which is this button down at the bottom here now if you click on onion skin now anywhere you can move these sliders anywhere we're underneath this gray area it will show you any of the frames underneath this gray area so if you see here it's showing us what's on the keyframe we're on it's also this ghost image here is showing us what's on the keyframe before so this is very useful for animation so we're going to move the left leg and left and right arm now Now if this happens, and it goes behind the body, it's just a matter of uh, altering the layer order. So right arm needs to go above the body there. Okay, we'll just fine tune that a bit. Now really with animation the thing to do now is to just test. Now what I tend to do is if you grab the needle and scrub it backwards and forwards, now you see at the moment that doesn't that walk isn't isn't working okay so we need to look at why that's not working so I'm gonna just the onion skin again. This is really the the bit the, the tricky bit actually you know you, you really have to think about the way things actually move. Um, You can fast forward some bits like this if I'm there. If it goes on for a while. Okay, that that that'll do now. So that's we've got a basic walk. Okay, so we've got our basic walk, and um, two frames long. Now the great thing with with this technique is, um, I mean everything has pros and cons. With this technique, the walk will look. If you want a very naturalistic walk, really the only way to do that is to draw the walk frame by frame. Um, if you want a more stylized, more stylized movement, and you're not so worried about realism, then this technique can work very well. Um, and it also means because um, you have to do less drawings, you can create um, more uh, animation um, more quickly, so it's quicker. Um, so if we go back to scene one, click on the scene one link here. Now we've got our basic walk animation now inside this movie clip. Now at the moment if we test the uh, movie, so if we go to control test movie across or control and enter. See we've got him, he's walking on the spot, okay, which is fine. But if we want him to walk, say from left to right across the stage, for example, um, the, the way to do that again is to use movie clips but this time using a motion tween. Okay, 
Now we've done the most of the, the hard work by creating the walk. All we have to do now is create a motion tween, which is very straightforward. So we basically move this movie clip to the left here. So we can move him off stage. Um, and then if we say we want this animation to last, this walk to last, say 50 frames. If we go to frame 50, right click and insert frame. Okay, turn this, so click in the middle, right click, create motion tween. We've turned this into a tw motion tween. All we have to do now is if we move the needle to the end, so what we want to do is we want him to move from the beginning here, we want him to move from left to right. So we move the needle to the end and we move him to the right and you'll see the motion path um, extends off him here. So this is going to be his path of motion here from here to here. Yeah. And that's done. Okay. It's very simple. Now, obviously when I'm scrubbing it like that, you're not seeing the walk. If we press enter, test it like that, we don't see the walk. He just glides across. But if we test the movie, then we see him moving from left to right, but we also see the walk animation that's inside that movie clip. So if we test the movie, and you'll see the walk and the movement left to right. Okay, now we can slow that down a bit if we want. So if I, to slow that down, I increase the number of frames it takes him. So if I double the number of frames it takes him to move from left to right and test it will slow him down. Yeah. Okay, let's slow him down even further, maybe go to 150. Just again. Okay, until we're happy. So that's our basic uh, walk movement using movie clips.